This week, we're back with another spy history at the Earl Warren 12 Stair. But that's not all the school has to offer. There's quite a few spots, so come along for the journey and we'll show them to you. Here we go. Earl Warren 12. Is. Yep. Wow, a lot has been done down this thing. Yeah, let's get this list going. All right, so I don't know who the first person to ollie it was, but I do know that Kirby ollied all the way to the street. That's pretty far. Sheldon ollied over this rail. Dylan Jade frontside flipped it. I feel like somebody else did it before that though. Am I wrong? But Dylan Jabe also did front heel. These cracks are crazy. Look how narrow it is, the Bondo right now. That is insane. If someone wanted to do something down this right now, they have to aim for that small strip. Yeah, that'll like stop you for sure. This has turned into an up crack. I don't remember it like being this bad. Wow. Yeah, the concrete's sinking right there. Yeah, definitely want to rebondo this crack. And then you gotta deal with all this. Yeah, this isn't too bad, but. Not too bad. Better be like rolling away good or you gotta be ready for this up crack as well. Jeez. Giles Canty hard flipped it. It's all good. We uh, tried to figure out this dude's last name. I just know him as Joe. Joe did boneless down the set. It was in an old montage on YouTube. Jarrett Toomey did switch flip. Zach. With the nollie flip. Bakey front big spin by Alex Wilms. The crack up here is pretty crazy too. A little bit of a Bondo strip up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's all you need. At least there's no crack like right before it. That's why it's... Oh, yeah. Tommy did a beautiful fakey frontside flip and ride the sky. Or frontside half cap flip, whatever you want to call it. We're interrupting this video with great news. Our friend Jake here is going to skate the set. And while he does that, I have one question for you, audience. Do you struggle? with balancing work and personal time, I constantly feel like I'm in work mode, which causes me to forget to do things like relax, eat, even sleep. I try forcing myself to take breaks to skate every day, but even skating can take its toll on mental health. Oh, dude, easy. At least get another Ollie. First try, come on. It's clear that many of us struggle with work-life balance. While passion drives us, it can also consume us. That's where the sponsor of today's video comes in, BetterHelp. They offer a way to address these challenges, or really any that you're facing, with professional help. BetterHelp will connect you with a licensed therapist who's trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased help. Let's do one more. Just go to their site and answer a few questions, and BetterHelp will match you with a professional with years of experience helping people with problems just like yours. Best part is you can do it all from your phone or computer via messaging, phone call, or video chat. Let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash Dernbrothers or choose Dern Brothers during sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. Back to the video. <laughs> Kenny Hoyle did Nolly Back 180 in a line. Then he did hard flip. Nolly heel. 
and Nolly Front 360. And that was all his enders in the same part. It's official. It's official, he shut it down. It's officially his. Let's talk to him about it. What's up, dude? How you doing? I'm doing well, how are you doing? Earl Warren, you pretty much shut that spot down for a minute with your it's official part. Did you know when you were filming all those tricks that they were gonna be the enders to that part? At that time, we were basically would just go out and skate. You know what yeah. I mean? So Earl Warren is like, it's right off the, um, the freeway and it has those hills, super fun to go skate. So we'd basically like drive down the freeway to go skate some spot in San Diego. We'd always pull off at Earl Warren, skate the hills, and then get back on the freeway. You know what I mean? So, and then every once in a while, you just like, we would just like start trying some tricks off the stairs, right? Like just like, oh, like throw the nollie backside flip, maybe, maybe get close, maybe not, and then just like leave. Yeah. Maybe get lucky. Well, I mean, you got like four tricks for that one part. Any of those, do you remember being a battle? Uh, I remember the hard flip. I did the hard flip a couple times and I couldn't roll off the curb because now it's just a cutout. Now it's cut out, right? So you can like skate the 12 and then just roll. Yeah. I used to roll off the curb afterward. So I like, there's a couple times where like I'd hard flip and land and then like roll off the curb and, and step off my board. I think I did that like three times. I only remember like, going to Earl Warren all the time and skating that spot, but I can't remember like doing the tricks down it, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was a while ago. Oh, yeah, so long ago. I remembered the Nolly cab, like I couldn't put it down. And there was a group of skaters showing up to the spot. Like I saw them pulling up through the parking lot and like, and I didn't really know them. So I was like, I didn't want to like be skating the stair set when they like, I don't know, with them, I guess. I didn't really know, so I was like, I just put one down and all of a sudden I was rolling away from the Nolly cab. I remember that. I just like credit Earl Warren to like why my body hurts nowadays, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, like, fuck, it's a big ass set. Yeah, I mean, you keep mentioning that you were there all the time skating and that has to be true because I also found like an old sponsor me tape of yours where you did like barrel heel down it. Yeah, I did the shove heel. I think I, I think I landed on like the last two steps and still rolled away, yeah. I know I tried to nolly backside heel flip it. I tried to nolly backside flip it. I wish I wouldn't have just tried tricks like that down it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like in terms of like the body hurts nowadays. You're like Right, but I mean, some of them worked out for you and you got them. Yeah, some of them got lucky. Yeah. I wish I would have got the nolly burial flip. Yeah, that's the one that got away. A lot of people get this angle up here. This is a really good angle up here. Yeah, it yeah. is. Wes Kramer, fakie hard flip. And Wes Kramer switch tray flip in a line. Kevin Romar nollie back healed it. Walker Ryan switch backside flip down the set in a line. Chris Jocelyn fakie heel flipped it. Nolly front heel, Paul Hart. Kobe Dvorak did switch front shove. Kobe Dvorak uh, did switch front big spin. Brandon Turner, with his specialty trick, switch hard flipped it in a line. Tony Tave, with a switch rail heel. And a switch front heel. Jagger with a crazy one, switch back three. I could not even imagine doing that. Like, wow. Once upon a time, when the stairs was under construction, these rails were not up here. People could skate the hubba. Wooly Santos got a lip slide down the hubba. And then, the only two other tricks I know of on the hubbas, both by Trainwreck, with the grind down this one. And then on the other one over here, he got a no slide. 
probably about the same time Willie did the lip slide because I don't think these rails were off the top of the hubbas for too long. So yeah, everyone knows about the 12 stair. And over here, what do we got? We have a 7.7 seven that Cyril Jackson ollied. And Jeff Wright ollied it. Got a big flat up here. Pretty big ollie. For sure. My buddy Blue ollied that double set. Watch that ollie and notice how he doesn't go off the curb. Or like, how did you do that? Because the double set push, pushes you one way, you know? Yeah. So it'd yeah. be like ollie the double set and then roll off the curb real quick. He just cruises out like so nonchalant. So three people have skated this hubba, which is pretty wild. Jordan Hoffart 50 50 it. Dolan Stearns board slid it. Then Adrian Mallory nose slid it. That's the craziest one to me. Pigwood video. There are a lot of cracks. Like Ollie is pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they bonded all of them, but I don't think that the run-up used to look like that. I think yeah. that this building is new. All that's freshly built. The yeah. school has changed a lot over the years, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. To skate it now is pretty weird. You come, you got to come over here and try and get this curve to go at a. Yeah. It almost makes it longer because it projects you at this angle. All right, we're gonna check out the rest of the school and see if there's anything else to skate here. Oh my God. We just climbed over like three walls over here <laughs> and we realized that this gate's just open and the, gate's and the open gate over. over there is open. <laughs> so. But anyways, I think this is where the 20 stair, like giant square rail was that uh, Jamie grinded. And Josh Casper ollied it. That's insane. Yeah, that's crazy. Dying to live, Jamie grinded it. He told me he got dropped off on the freeway and skated here so he'd feel like he was warmed up when he got here. He said he rolled up to it one time. He's like, all right, everyone ready? And then did it. Dang. That is a Jamie story right there. <laughs> yeah. Jamie Thomas, 50-50. Dying to live. Oh yeah, that's right, dying to live. But he filmed it, he didn't put the footage out for a while because someone dropping grinded it and that photo ended up in Thrasher or something. So everyone thought that it had been grinded, but then Jamie found out that it wasn't an actual make. No way. And then it came out in Dying to Live. That's what he told my brother. Oh, okay. It, it, a real interesting story that probably no one else knows about. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah. I didn't know that either. All right, we're looking for more spots now. I see some stairs over here. Lots of skate stop ledges, of course. Oh, do we have an out rail? Someone skated this. For sure. It kind of sucks that this curb's right here, but. I think that's part of what makes that spot though. Yeah, you can tell it's definitely been skated. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can go over this little two block thing. <laughs> it's about all I can do right now. I hurt my shoulder the other day, so. Gotta yeah, keep it chill. Joker slam. Oh, you know what I just noticed? I bet you people have skated over both these rails, like going this way. Oh, dang, that'd be sick. So this kink rail is probably possible. It's gnarly, but I believe it's possible. It's like a little ledge right here. It's a ledge, it's waxed. Oh, what's over here? Oh, you know what? Braden Hoban did a kickflip. He ollied up and kickflipped this. Oh, you're yeah. right. Braden Hoban, kickflip. That's uh, the only thing I know of down this gap. Oh yeah. Somebody could tail drop or dump truck off this thing, off the railing into this. That, that one's crazy. You gotta clear these trees out though to do it because you're gonna whack yourself in the face going yeah. down. If anyone knows about this drop in or tail drop going down, let us know in the comments. All right, I do not see Bondo on the crack, so I don't think anyone has tried this triple kink. I think it's possible. All right, so this school has been redone. There were a lot more skate spots at it back in the day. There was a handicap rail. Kenny got the board slide to fakie. 
Derek Elmendorf did the feeble pop out. And then also the crook pop over. Jet Caputo also had a line involving the handicap rail. One of the most famous spots at the school, no longer here. There was this like kind of downhill section with some ledges. People would do tricks off bumps and then like take the hill. Tom Penny, one of the first people to skate this spot. It was in some old 411 video magazines. Early issue, he did a line and it went all the way down like the downhill section and did it a rail that's actually not here anymore either. I think it was like a nine stair. He did a front side flip, took the hill. We're not gonna cover like every trick on these spots. They're no longer here. The main sections of the school were back there at the, you know, the 12 stair and the double set. But that rail that Tom Penny ended the line at, I know Chris Lambert used to skate that rail a lot. He did back lip down it. He did back 5-0 down it. Again, we're not gonna name every trick on those spots, but uh, the downhill section, let's name a few more, at least on that. Corey Duffel, he used to skate that spot a lot. I think he has a few parts with some lines in it. I know he did like a gap 5-0 on the high ledge that was going downhill. Yeah, Slash skated it too, he did a uh, gap crook. Yes. Yes, there was a little slam at the beginning of his part, and then later in the part, he got the make in a line. Mike Dwayne did a half cab heel in a line on the downhill section. Wes Kramer switched tray. And then I think uh, Gap nose grind. He also did gap tail slide on that high ledge. And gap switch crook to regular in a line. So that downhill section looked like a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it's not here anymore. Yeah, I would have loved to escape that. Yeah. That school was just so fun to skate in general, like just because of all the hills that were there. Back when I first met Gallant, so I didn't know him when he was like filming like First Love, but he does a line in First Love, right? Like he like half cab flips and then like cuts a quick caballero. Or he does, I forget the line, but he does like the boosty kick flip at the end. And then he turns, he's able to make the corner, right? He makes that left hand turn, it's filmed at night. Mm -hmm. And we could never make that corner like when we would bomb the hills and skate them, right? Like just do a bunch of ollies. We could never make that turn. So this is like right when I first met Gallant, I think I remember asking him, I was like, hey man, like, did you, did you tighten your, did you try, tighten your bolts? Like the wheels? So he didn't go as fast. He's like, no man, hell no, I didn't do that. Like I thought that he like tightened his bolts. You know, oh yeah, just yeah, to I, get I get what you're saying. Just enough, but no, he, I guess he didn't. Oh, like he claims that he didn't. <laughs> There used to be this triple set, and uh, this dude Danny Moretz ollied over the rail into the grass. Nice. I should have known it's got the spaces in them. Yeah, I kind of thought he saw a manual pad up ahead, but nope. All right, uh, we just searched the whole school. I think that's about it here. Um, we did want to talk about this one other spot that used to be here. It was like a two stair or a three stair ledge and uh, Spencer Newsy did no slide, nollie, double flip out. 
He also did no slide nollie flip to manual. And no slide to crook to 5-0. Austin Zito, 5-0-180, switch Manny. Brendan did lip slide shove. Uh, Jamie Palmore did a few tricks. Uh, we'll show them now. Yeah, I know he got the front lip 5-0-180. Yep. Laurel Gray, Nolly Shove, Nose Manual. You don't know me. Zane Timpson, Nose Slide, Nolly Heel Out. When he was like super young, I think. Taylor Orman, Tail Slide, Front Side Flip, in a line. Then he also did 5-0 to drop down switch crook. So yeah, that spot's not here anymore. I'm sure there are a lot of other clips on it. So if we missed your favorite clip on the spot or one that you remember, leave it in the comments below. Oh, what? Is that Alex Wilms right there? Yo, that's so crazy. <laughs> Just dropped my car off at discount time. The timing, what up, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Guest appearance, Alex Wilms. <laughs> Unplanned. <laughs> yeah. Well, shout out to you. This guy helped us a little with this list, yeah, so yeah. thank you. There was one I couldn't find, but um, Taylor Kirby like dump trucked off of that. Dude, that's what I was saying. I was like, I bet you someone's like either tail dropped or dump trucked this. Yeah. So down the triple. Yeah, down the triple. That's crazy, yeah. I gotta find that clip. I feel like, I don't know, I might be tripping, but I was on a trip with Paco once. I feel like he said that clip might have gotten taken off YouTube. Oh, that might make sense why we can't find it. So the rumors, Kirby dump truck into the uh, triple kink ledge here. Where we would go to the buses to like go home, mm -hmm. it was like right where the 12 stair is. And I just literally walked up and just like fucking Justin Brock is standing right there and Ernie Torres is like <laughs> going to switch big spin the 12 stair. No, no way. way. Sticks it. And Justin Brock was just like, fuck yeah, Ernie. Just like, are you <laughs> No way. We were looking at this out rail earlier. You you said you got Smith on it. I did. Yeah, this is the second time I've been here since they remodeled it. When did they remodel this school? Shit, had to be like 2018. Really, 2018. All right, that's our video at Earl Warren. Uh, let us know if we missed any tricks in the comments below, and uh, we got some good videos coming up, so please subscribe.